Now that we have the base done, let's go ahead and add a new sheet. So in your place views, go to new sheet, and we're going to dimension the lid. For me, that is the keychain top, and I want to see it from the underside and with the nubby on top. We're going to say OK. And here, I want everyone to, anyone who sees this drawing, to know that from here to here, that that lip is always going to be a point zero seven five inch lip. So I'm going to change that to point oh seven five and add a TYP after it. That's typical. It's all the way around. Same thing for here. This overhang is going to be point one nine. The overall height of this is 2.28. Um, this is this is my datum up here, and I'm also going to use that datum to show how far off center the center of that hole would be. And something went funny here. This should be 0.125. So I'm going to go back to my original drawing and fix that. But at least here, this will show 0.125. Um, let's put in a center mark. And then we'll add in our leader lines for the, the radius of each of these guys here. And that one should be 0.125 as it states here. I also need to know how far over that would be. So that's a 0.28. Is that accurate? 0.275 and something funny happened. So I'm going to go back and, and change some stuff around on the actual part file. Um, yours, if you followed along with me, should be accurate right now. 0 0.125, 0 0.275. And the only other dimension that we might need to know is that this one is 2.28. I don't need to know anything else for this part. Um, I do need it to include an isometric, so I click projected, click on this view, create that, and then double click it to make it shaded. I should probably show a section view. So I might go here to section. This is the part. And I'm going to cut down through it. Oh, let's go all the way down through. I'll move that just a little bit. And let's take a detail of this section. We'll make that 3 to 1 here, uh, maybe up here. And I just want to show with that detail that this distance 0.05 is the same as this distance, 0.05. So yes, it's the same dimension, but you wouldn't be able to tell that just from looking at it. Um, other things we could put on the original view would be like that radius. It should be a 0.125. So change the number of zeros there. And the total thickness of that part which is going to be a 0.17. And I'll put that down here. And that is 0.17. Okay. Uh, the last thing that we are going to do is add a note about tolerances. Um, so let's take a look at how to do that. We're just going to go to text, draw ourselves a little box here, and we're just going to use some 
kind of generic ones. So we'll say x point x is going to be, here's where our symbols are, we want uh, plus or minus, let's call that 0 0.020. x point x x is going to be plus or minus, and make that uh, 0 0.010. If there are three after the decimal, we'll do a plus or minus 0 0.005. And I'm going to go back in here, just kind of space those over so it looks all lined up. We'll get rid of the space before that one. Looks much nicer. We'll make this specifically about decimals. And let's do one more over here about angles. So on my other design, I did use some angles, and we can say that's plus or minus uh, 0 0.5 degrees. Our degree symbol is right there. And now that I have that, I can copy it. So Control C, or you can right click and go to copy. Go back to sheet 2, control V. We can paste it right in place there. And if we don't like where it's placed, we can always grab the box and move down a little bit. Make sure you put in your name. And the name for this part. 